control the land or own the land that they want to build on. In fact, they didn't even attempt that process until July this year. So there is a way to go yet for them. What they want to do is take a strip, all trees from just over there, right down the whole canopy, all the way up Euston Road. I think most of you know that. They then want to take the entire edge of the park. Now when Duncan Gay sees a park, he sees a map that stands in the way of his motorway. He has no idea, when he says there's no impacts on Sydney Park, he has no idea what he's talking about. He doesn't care and he hasn't been down here to have a look. Um, just a couple of days ago, on December the 28th, some people turned up from RMS and said that they're about to begin work, the preliminary work today, and of course they will attempt to progress it right through January. So we will need to be alert and active and here. And one of the things they came to tell us is that they want to shut down these toilets just over here. Now that may seem like a pretty pedestrian, some ordinary little hut, uh, housing some toilets, but actually it, it's the only toilet to the southern end of Sydney Park. Without those toilets, these barbecues, which are very well used picnic areas by lots of people, this is the only regional park in this area, uh, those barbecues become pretty well useless for anyone with children, anyone who can't walk four or five hundred metres. Now, as well as that, because they, they want to bring the road in, this wetland over here, which if you hear during the day, you'll see people just quietly enjoying that, that's gone too, because it's going to be on the edge of a seven-lane uh, motorway. And the exercise yard just up uh, uh, Houston Road, that also will have to move. And when it has to move, it has to move somewhere else, or there won't be an open-air exercise yard. This is just the whole top on along Sydney Park Road is going to be sliced off. That's a whole bank of pavilion. Along here we've got banks of banks here that take many years to grow and already these ones are several, about seven years old. So look, we can go on and on about the impacts but it's much more than just saying they're going to shave the sides of a park. It's a really serious impact on this park. Now what are we going to do? Now one of the really difficult things is of course they're going to play cat and mouse with us they're going to try and play mind games with us to get us boot to make us run out of energy. And we're going to have to be really committed for the next month. There's a few things you can do. First of all, we've got a wonderful team of people who've been maintaining the camp. We need more people on the camp roster. Even if you think you could just do one overnight camp, please, please offer to do that if you feel you can manage that. If not, volunteer on the camp roster. Some of the people here that you can speak to 